Hello there, my name is Janet. Welcome to this lesson. And in today's lesson, we are going to learn about ogre stories or giant stories or monster stories. And we are going to look at their characteristics and we give an example of an ogre story. Now, uh, ogre stories are also known as ogres or um, monster stories. The main characters in such a story involve an ogre or ogress or a monster who changes uh, most of the time into people and confuse them, uh, confuse the non-suspecting people whom they eat. The ogre or ogres represent uh, evil in the society. Now, ogres are stories uh, that deal with creatures that are half human and half monster. Ogres are superhuman creatures that behave like human beings and they are used to uh, personalize or characterize human beings. Ogres are called giants in English, and they are thought to be big, hideous monsters that eat human beings. For example, um, we have some local uh, names referring to ogres in our country, like uh, Zimwi and Kisweli, and uh, the Kamba people call them uh, Maimo. Let us look at the characteristics of ogre stories. They have an ogre that is the male and an ogress, which is a female, <coughs> or a monster pitted against men. The ogres are able to change into various things, such as beautiful girl or beautiful boy or handsome boy, to confuse the non-suspecting. The ogres or ogresses are more superior. They run fast and eat more. However, it is the one mistake they make at the last moment that... Uh, has killed them. And such hoggers are able to trace men by use of sand or some elements only known to themselves. It is only a small girl or a boy, what we call the hero or heroine, who kills such giants. And people are then, uh, the people who are then eaten are recovered from the ogre's stomach. Now, victims of such ogres are usually inexperienced. We are told they are usually stupid and naive girls or boys. Now, and such stories represent the good and the evil in the society. Now, when we talk about the good and the evil, the good comes uh, when the hero or heroine uh, comes in and the people are recovered or, uh, from the ogre's stomach and the evil is the ogre himself, the way he eats human beings and their things and their animals. Their world is usually unreal and of fantasy and we are told they overdo everything. For example, they overdo their eating, their sleeping, they may sleep for hours. They are foolish and gullible as they are cheated by human beings. They have mystical or magical powers, for example. They can discover wealth, they can discover medicine, and so on and so forth. They are very greedy. Ogres are always killed in the end of stories. We've talked about whatever they may have eaten is usually recovered and they inhibit lonely and dark places. Now, uh, we have uh, an example of an ogre story. I'll narrate it. I've not written it down. Long, long ago, uh, there was a child called Kyondoi who was named Kyondoi because she was very a very stupid girl. The child lived with her grandmother because her mother and father were dead. Kyondoi was stupid because if her grandmother left food for her and told her not to give any to strangers, then she would actually go to look for people up to the path. Uh, she would give them all the food and stay hungry the whole day. If she was told not to open the door for people, she did not know Kyondoi never listened. She, in fact, she opened the door for people. And so one day, uh, Kyondoi's grandmother locked her up in the hut. She told her not to open for anybody. Immediately, her grandmother left. The ogre came and asked, who is in this home? Kyondoi replied, it is me, Kyondoi. My grandmother locked me up in the hut and told me not to open for anybody, whoever it might be. She also told me if I am cold, I should not answer. The ogre told her, ah, is that so? 
Oh yes, even food. She leaves some for me and tells me not to give to anybody, Kendoi replied. The ogre told her, open the door we play. The little fool named Kyondoi opened the door. Now, the ogre took Kyondoi and put her in his bag. The ogre then ate Kyondoi's food and finished it. The ogre's intention was to get a child who could beg for food for him. So whenever he went, he used to tell Kyondoi, Kyondoi have a bite of a banana. Just as Kyondoi was going to have a bite, the ogre would swallow the whole banana. The ogre roamed with Kyondoi in his bag for many days. If they reached a home where there was a gruel, the ogre would tell Kyondoi, Kyondoi makes some noise. Either we are given a, a sip or we are denied. They will be given some gruel. The ogre would then tell Kyondoi, Kyondoi, have a sip of gruel. Whenever Kyondoi was about to have a sip, the ogre would drink the gruel in one gulp. Oh, me too. Now Kyondoi grew very thin uh, because she had nothing to eat. And so one day, the ogre found a certain woman in her home. She first told Kyondoi, Kyondoi, make a little noise. We either be given or denied. Kyondoi made some noise. The woman gave them food and gruel. And so Kyondoi made a uh, and gruel and now because of having eaten so much the ogre felt he wanted to go to the toilet so he told the woman to keep his bag for him while he visited the bush for a little while when the ogre had gone to the bush the woman took kyondoi out of the bag quickly and hid her she then put a stone in that bag when the ogre came back and she gave him the bag he asked, how come it has become so heavy? The woman told the ogre, ah, you ogre, don't you know uh, that when a lot is put down, it always becomes heavier? The ogre took his bag saying, oh yes, when a lot is put down, it becomes heavier. That is good because today is when the meat, uh, this meat of mine will be eaten. Now the ogre had planned how he and his ogre friends would feast on Kyondoi that day. So when he arrived at his home, the ogre told his friends that he had brought meat so they should collect firewood. The firewood was collected by all ogres, big and small. The fire that was lit was huge. When the ogres went to remove Kyondoi from their friend's bag, they found a stone. Do you know what they did when they found the stone? They took the ogre who owned the bag and who had troubled Kyondre so much. They took that ogre who had planned that they feast on Kyondre. They threw him into the fire. The ogre is the one who was roasted and became meat for the fellow ogres. That is our ogre story, a sample ogre story, and I hope this one helps you to improve on your English. Kindly remember to like, please share this video, and also subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one.